Hey guys and welcome back to another Matchday Vlog. Today not so at home to Chorley. First game back after a few weeks. Not sit 17th in the league after 6 games. From what I heard it sounded like positive steps were being made after the games against Harrogate and Wrexham. But then that progress halted a little bit on Saturday after the draw with Ebsleet. Neil Ardley and Ben Turner said the performance wasn't that great. But hopefully we can pick up our first home win of the season today. Come on Knots, come on you pies, let's do this. Just stopped by in the broken wheelbarrow for a Pepsi. Because the word I would use to describe today's weather is sweltering. That's the word I would use. I haven't, got, I haven't put my sunglasses on because I don't think they actually fit. But yeah, team news out, Doyle, O'Brien, Rose and Holbin is the midfield four. Booty is on the bench, along with Thomas. Tyson comes in for Thomas up front. Kenny Evans is at right back. And McCrory is playing centre off with Tina. <laughs> First game I'm attending today where Will Patching is no longer a lost player. Disappointed about that, he had the potential, he had the ability, but the circumstances of the club in our current situation mean it just wasn't the right environment for him. But yeah, good luck to him. Tyson smashed it in, into the goal. 1-1. One, one. Christian Dennis! Oh. Game of the season, the one all at half time. What's your thoughts? Well, I'm, I might be a bit controversial here, but I'm, I'm quite irritated and annoyed by a lot of our supporters. Um, go back to July, everyone was saying, I don't care if we finish fifth bottom and we stay up, all I want is a club. That's all I'm bothered about, I don't care. It took less than 15 minutes today for quite a large number of people to start getting all the players back. 15 minutes. Um, I accept we should be beating teams like this, but we have no want to beat teams like this. We've got to earn it, we've got a new squad, and if I was some of these players, I really wouldn't want a bloody player home match because the fans turn so quick onto the pitch. Um, we, we, we do seem like there, there's something not quite right, and I don't know what it is, I don't know how you make it better. Um, it's not my job. But again, we've given away a free header from a corner to concede a goal, and that's happened. that happens far, far too often for a management team who spent all of their careers defending. Um, down the wings, it seems quite one-dimensional. Bakayoko looks to play it inside to O'Brien every time. Kelly Evans looks to play it inside to Rose every time. Um, when you're that 
unpredictable, it does make it quite easy to defend against. But on a positive, the goal, Christian Dennis, what an incredible piece of work from him. Most forwards in that position, I think, would have headed for goal. He had the presence of mind to know what was around him, to nod it down and give Tyson the easiest goal he's ever going to score. So let's see what happens, because we all know we always play better second half. about past the hour mark now I think it's 3-1 but yeah as we know 3-1 can still be a dangerous scoreline and you never know with knots they like sitting back when they when they're leading into the top corner. Enzio's goal and also Dennis's goal has made it 3 long. Brilliant strike. We really have turned it on this second half. We really have flicked a switch and summer has happened. scored five for the first time since Crawley at home in the 14-15 season. It's a long time ago, it's a lot of managers ago, but yeah, it's um, yeah the best decision though today was wearing shorts. I'm glad I didn't 
wear jeans today because it is ridiculously warm. So the end of match day seven and Notts have scored five goals in a game. It feels weird, but it feels good. And I know people will say, oh, it's only Chorley, but you know, we, you don't have any divine right to be anyone in this league. And Chorley took the lead and for parts in the first half were the better team. But we, we worked hard, we came out in the second half and we were a lot better than we were in the first because the first half, it, it was a poor performance in the first half. The second half was a lot better, we were braver with the ball, we went forward with it more. The midfield started to bring the, fo bring the ball forward and we were braver, we were much better creatively, some brilliant goals as well. I mean, Baldwin's first goal was brilliant, that's the second time he's done that this season. Dennis was exceptional, what a baller, a fantastic finish into the bottom corner. And Wes Thomas' second goal was, was fantastic, into the top corner. One player I will give credit to today is Michael Doyle, because I think he had a, I think he had a really good game. You know, he does get stick. But today, he was brilliant. His passing was very good. Goals for Tyson and Thomas, that'll do their confidence the world of good. Wes Thomas, I think, scored 11 last season for Grimsby. Uh, got his first two goals for us today. And I know he had um, a good chance against Ebbsfleet. I think he had one or two good chances against Ebbsfleet that he didn't take. But he's got his two goals today. And the second one is a thing of beauty. We do need to back up the second half performance today. We never do well at Yeovil away. And Solihull at home is a very tough game. They're a good side. They've started strongly this season. They did well last season as well, finishing second. The weather was sweltering, but the football in the second half was brilliant. Please not, let's just play like that every game. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed if you're subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe. Be champions, and as always, to <laughs>